Hi honey buns, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this super easy, natural, everyday, serving you face makeup look. And it's like honestly like a 10 minute makeup look. On a daily basis, I do not wear makeup, but for those days that you would like to do something simple and something easy, this is the look that I came up with using some of my favorite products to get this look. And so if you're new here, welcome. It's me. I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and join it. And if you already like the look, give it a thumbs up. And let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask on. And because I honestly have to, like, I have really dry skin. And especially recently in the summer, it's been extremely dry and irritated. Next thing I do is always use a moisturizer. I've been using the Pharmacy Lightweight Moisturizer. And I like this one so far, so good. Um, I was using a different one, but it's really cool because the top is like a magnet and it comes with this little thing so I can just scoop it out. It is very lightweight, just like it says it is. This one is like air, air light. So if you don't like that thick feeling of like moisturizer going on and you know, that kind of like bothers you, this one is definitely light. And then after I'm done, I kind of just like to take my fingertips and press it into my skin, especially like very lightly under the eyes, but especially on my eyes because I have really dry eyelids too as well. And I already did my brows off of camera, but I always put my brows on, well usually after I did this, but this time I tweaked. I always like to do my brows when I do like an everyday natural look. Because I feel like the brows are literally like the windows of the face. Next, I use the Ula Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream. It has vitamin C and collagen boosted into it. It's like a brightening eye cream that illuminates the eyes. Provides a beautiful base for makeup. Next, for concealer, I'm going to be using the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. And the only reason I'm using this one is because this is the most recent one I've purchased. And I kind of like concealer is one of my favorite things to try out and collect. So I'm not saying you have to go out and get this or that this does like wonders. I'm still like testing it. It out but so far I've really enjoyed it and I'm one of those weird people that like the sponge applicator to it so I just love Charlotte Tilbury like as a brand it's one of my favorite brands so this is the one I'll be using I just honestly if I'm doing like an everyday look I'm not gonna go and pull out my sponge and wet it as lazy as that sounds I don't do it so I just will go ahead and blend that with my finger and just like the tip, the little nub of my finger and press that under the eye all the way around the lid so it covers up any redness and I take it slowly after I do the eye onto the sides of the nose and sometimes I will go and cover like all of the nose if it needs to like if there's like a breakout or something this is pretty much all I do for like base makeup I do not wear foundation when I do like a natural everyday easy 10 minute makeup I think that if you want extra like coverage you can easily just place concealer here place it on any breakouts that you have like I would probably do around my mouth and under my nose after this but I think that for the most part when I'm not doing a full glam I'll just do concealer and I really end up liking the way that it turns out now the concealer is done I'm just gonna curl my lashes I hate when mascara gets on here I don't know what that part of the eyelash curler is called because I hate when it like make sure you clean that because when you go like this then sometimes you get like a little black line and that is not the look I'm trying to go for because I'm not putting eyeliner on in this look so my dog is like right here patches laying down with me and she like follows me everywhere she follows me everywhere around the house imagine if you're like a chicken and you had like little babies so imagine like i guess you're a geese because i see that happen more often like i'm like the mother goose and she's literally like my child that follows me everywhere around the house i can't go to the bathroom i can't do a thing i can't even go to the kitchen from the living room for five seconds without being followed I mean, I love it. But anyways, I think she was down here with me and I think she like, I don't know, I'm hoping not because my room is downstairs in the basement. And so like in another room over here is where like the washer and the dryer are. So like, you know, there's water, things like a sink is back there and stuff like that. So I was like walking and on the way, I started walking up the stairs to look for a lighter for my candle. And I like stepped in water and I was like, I hope that was water and not pee. And so I was just like, okay. And then knowing me, I was like, you know, I knew it was there. I knew that just happened, but it slipped my mind so fast. I didn't like pick it up right away. And my mom, that's what I would get. She'd be like, that's what you get for knowing it was wet and not picking it up. <laughs> I literally come back. And as soon as I like, I come back and I don't step on it, then I leave again. And I basically almost broke my leg, did the splits, had to go to the hospital, barely caught myself. And I was like, whoa, that was crazy. That's what I get for not picking it up. I felt super embarrassed and I wish there was a camera so someone could see. The mascara I've been trying to use out and just like finish is the NARS Climax mascara. Next I'm going to just bronze my skin a little. You can use any bronzer but for some reason I've been thinking that I might be breaking out from the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So I am using the Marc Jacobs Fantastic Omega Bronzer. I like this one a lot because I like the color 
of it and I like the way that it kind of like looks on my skin. It doesn't look like too heavy. And I'm using a Morphe M405 brush. So I basically apply the bronzer to the places that if the sun was really out, it would probably hit these spots of my faces for the most part. And I use this smaller brush because I have a smaller face. So when I use bigger brushes, sometimes it doesn't look as like precise as it could look. Although I'm not like contouring. I'm going to take this Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. It's basically like a glowy product. It's honestly one of the best products I have in my makeup collection. It's like a liquid glowy product, but also it gives you a slight bit of coverage and you can use it in a multitude of ways. So this is the one of the ways that I like to use it. I'm just gonna take it on this little tiny fan brush from Real Techniques and I will apply it to the high points of my cheeks and also on top of my nose. And I'll just go in and kind of push that into the skin and it gives me a slight bit of coverage, but mainly it gives me that superstar youth glow. And I like this especially when I do this because it keeps it the natural look. So it kind of looks like a little wet and again, considering I'm not wearing foundation, and all that into effect and I want it to look like a more of a subdued makeup look and next my favorite step that honestly I think that just really brings color back into the skin and a little life and that is like a look that I personally enjoy you could stop here and you know I think the face is cute definitely picture ready me personally I like the color and the rosiness and like the little look that blush gives my favorite blush is the Milani baked blush in luminoso you can see it kind of has a luminosity to it and that's why I really like this blush because it doesn't make me look like a flat, like just peach, you know? You know? It gives me color, but also like still keeps the face looking luminous. And when you turn your face, it gives you like that like healthy glow. And that's why I personally like this blush a lot. Next, I'm just gonna apply something to the lips. <sighs> I gotta show you guys this. I got to show you guys this. I love this. So I'm gonna line my lips in this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. And I've really enjoyed this. And to be honest with you, I said I got this for like $18 with that Sephora gift card. I purchased again. I have this really cool lip product that I wanna share. But I will BRB. I told my mom that. She was like, what does that mean? Mama, seriously? I really like this lip liner because it glides on effortlessly and the pigment is like BAM in your face pigment smooth lovely and I do like the shade a lot so this is the really cool lip product that I was telling you guys about it's this is the Too Faced peach puff diffuse matte lip color I got the shade you wish so what it is these fucking sponges man oh wait these effing sponges my Thea told me she doesn't want me to curse on my YouTube but also who am I girl who am I I can curse if I want to Oh, bitch. Look! Look! Look how beautiful! Back to this lip product. This is the Too Faced Peach Puff in Diffuse Matte Lip Color. Boom. Color. Look how it literally looks so smooth on my lips. Number two. Number three. Matte. So matte, right? It Clearly, it's a matte lip. But also, where's the cracks? Where's the dryingness? Where's the separation? <gasps> Nowhere. Because these are almost like lip stains. So yeah, definitely recommend. So if you like to give it a thumbs up, if you like the look or any of the products that I used and have anything to say about them, please leave some comments because I love talking to people about makeup. Even if I don't know you or even I do know you, comment. Yeah, I hope you guys subscribe if you would like to and I'll see you guys in my next video. So that's all for this natural, everyday, easy makeup look. Bleh, look makeup look <laughs> so that's all for this natural everyday makeup look i hope so that's it for this natural everyday makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys loved it 